good morning guys and welcome to today's video i have a confession this video is being started at quarter to one we just got home um we bought a new couch for our living room we are finally getting around to moving things differently since we moved in and i'm going to show you the new couch reveal Basically, I brought the dining room rug into the living room and we got this big, huge couch to fit the space a little better. I did not realize how much of the space it was going to fit because this is a gigantic couch, you guys. Yeah, I wanted something that I could fit into this living room and actually feel super comfortable on. It uses the space up a little bit better. We got rid of the ottoman and now we actually need to... Get a yeah, get a coffee table for in here. But this is it. This is our new couch. We're not going to Everybody so far has been fighting over this corner piece because it's How super. Small. No, it's huge. It is super cozy. It's big. <sighs> we got a really good deal on this couch. We could not pass it up. And this is it. This is it. This is our new couch. <laughs> yeah, Sophie just piles the cushions up. Because I don't like the cushions. Yeah, the the cushions might go. I don't know how that's you know gonna what? work. They're gonna go, except for one on each couch, so that we can have our headrest. Uh, but now that that's done, I'm refixing up our dining room. I'm gonna move more rugs around and get this figured out. But before we can do that, we need to go down and feed our horses lunch. Now that the snow is gone, the dogs are escaping from their little poop pen, and that's not cool. So I'm gonna eat something really quick because. Um, before we go down and feed the horses because you know you guys you can't be hungry when you go to feed your horses You just be grouchy. Anyway, we have moved from white outside to brown. Everything is brown outside Our new couch is brown inside. Hopefully I don't get sick of brown. Oh, Ruby is not allowed on the couch And the dogs are getting up there already Ruby even our dogs are brown. Even our dogs are matching our couch. All right, so I kind of have spring fever. I'm not going to lie. We're going down to feed the horses, Sophie and I. It's funny, whenever we separate, it's always Sophie and I, and then Gabby and Sam. And Sophie's the most like me, and Sam and Gabby are uh, are more like twins. They're going to the dump. So they we went to, to take, the yeah, they went to take some junk to the dump. So that's huge. brown for as far as the eye can see. I can't wait though to get past the mud stage. It's like I spend my whole life waiting. Just think this stall could be filled soon. Shh. Okay, go quiet. Hi, <laughs> Tiger Willow. She's like, I heard Sophie. Sophie just said the words that I dread to hear. I can see Willow Stella's ribs. Oh, right now. I... What was that about, Missy? Daffy. Yeah, it's because you gave her a treat. Daffy. Yeah, Stella, Daffy. we need to get you moving and get you some exercise because you just look flabby. She's like, who are you calling flabby? Have you looked in the mirror lately? She looks good, though. I have to still empty a lot of this sugar water. All right, Stella, back away. Back away from the hay. I know, it's so hard to soak hay, but I love soaking hay. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> so it has to happen. Watch out, Missy. <laughs> You're so cute. Uh-oh. Hard bone. Well, there you go, Miss Willow. Spots when I pet. Yeah, she's Willow. nice looking. I can feel like, um, bones and not fat. Yeah, so she's got a wide barrel. She's always gonna have that, but she, but she, look at her. She just looks good. Oh, she's like, thank you, thank you. We have so much work to do, you guys. And this is why I love these two, because they don't bite each other. Yeah. I was telling Fiona yesterday that we got so lucky with our horses, because literally there are so many horses out there that have bad attitudes and are have no ground manners and these horses these two horses are so gentle so kind sophie and i could manage these horses on our own 
except for the riding of Stella. We're leaving that for Gabby. Stella, look in the bucket for hay. Because Wait, I have a question. Why did you just raise your hand? Where'd you learn that? B, B, B. <gasps> a B? Can Where? Can now? No, it flew over there. Our first B. No, when Stella came home, it was her first B. Sam and Gabby have gone to the dump to take our old couch there. And then, um, we're gonna, they're gonna go to the barn and take off Storm's blanket because it's, it's, it's not warm. If you guys came from like a warm climate, you'd be here and be like, oh my gosh, this is worse than winter. It's like five degrees above zero, but it, there's sun. And in Canada, when you get sun and anything above zero, you feel like spring is sprung, but it's supposed to snow now, so. Can we leave? I hate bees. There's no bee here anymore. There was a bee. I love seeing her. I just can see her forever. Yeah, I love her. And I think there's some huge benefit to letting her just come here and sit and go for walks and be ridden really slow amounts because shutting she's learning to she's relax she's, she's learning to relax feel this non-winter coat stella does not do good in a high stress environment and here is where she's learning to relax and this little girl just it just is perfect everywhere oh, kiss 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 ah mm. cutest pony on earth I got too ambitious. I should have worn my coat. Anyway, um, do you guys remember last week when I said, let's confess, let's tell the world all of our bad habits, or at least pick one bad habit and tell the world. Stella's looking at me like, oh gosh, here she comes again. <laughs> um, today, I wanna challenge you guys to comment below and tell me one of your super human strengths, the amazing, a good thing that defines who you are. And of course, I'm gonna start, and my thing is that I love people. I love people. I can find my way to love anybody. I can forgive anybody anything. I can meet anybody out there in the world, find that one piece of them that I can connect with and then grab onto that and connect with them. I allow people to make their mistakes. I allow people to be whoever it is God has planned, God wants them to be, and I can see the beauty in their journey even if they're totally different than me. So that is it, that is my superpower. I think I did this before actually. Oh shoot, but anyway, I challenge you all, we have new subscribers, I challenge you, put down in the comments below, what is your superpower, what is it that defines who you are and makes you amazing? And don't be shy you guys, because all of you are amazing. I've been noticing lately, especially on Instagram, that there's like a certain age group that has like the most amount of frustration and anger and hate. And I'm realizing now that I'm really super fortunate that the girls are homeschooled and that we have them here because Gabby has like a spice to her. And she is turning in to this amazing woman who is kind and considerate and fun to be around, but has sass, and is using it in the best way possible. And that's a huge thing. If she were in another environment that maybe didn't foster the positive so things crushing. the way that I want her to um, experience, she could turn out into a whole different person, but she's been amazing. And this girl's always amazing. I'm scared and this, of him scratching. Don't scratch. Don't scratch. Don't scratch. Yesterday when we were going to uh, check out that Palomino pony that we love, um, Fiona was telling us about her experiences as a young child jumping on a horse and then it running her back to the barn where all the other horses were eating and she's such a daredevil and I said, do you know how many crazy things I did when I was young? Do you know how many experiences I experienced that were not parent approved? Not many because I like safety, I like comfort, well, I do not love mud. And Sophie's the same as me. She's content to just have her own little life. I love my little life, you guys. You do not have to be famous. You do not have to be rich. You do not have to be powerful to love the life that you have. Sophie and I are trying to get all the house organizing done while Sam and Gabby are at the barn. I told them to take the camera so you guys could see Storm, but they forgot. And anyway, I wanted to tell you that um, my phone was upstairs and I was in the dining room 
and it rang and every time Sam goes to the barn and with Storm there and the phone rings and he's not here, it, I go into a panic. So I try to call back and he's not answering and all I can think is that something is wrong with Storm because it's, oh, and I like start to freak out. So I sent him a message and it says, do not ever call me from the barn unless it's an emergency because I get freaked out. So I'm just waiting for him to call me back. Please, please God, let Storm be okay. So you're not even at the barn yet? No, not yet. Oh, phew! I always panic when you phone me from the barn. Well, I didn't phone you from the barn. I was at the barn. Well, no, but you were on your way to the barn. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, so the reason he phoned me was because we got this in the mail. And I tried to, and I phone, and I messaged him and I said, hey, well, you got a package. And he's like, it's for Gabby's birthday. But anyway, now he just realized what it actually was. So this is what we got in the mail. We've been uh, slow and steady, you guys, trying to get this barn together. Pull it out, Sophie. That's so small. You think it's too small? We got two. Yeah, it's not a lot, is it? Like, we're gonna have to get 20 of these things. What was he thinking? Sometimes Sam goes off half, half cocked and buys stuff without showing me. Okay, often Sam does that. Four bars, you guys know what it is? It's cute, I like them. So there's two. But um, this one will hold all the stuff. No, we need 20 of them. So yeah, it'll go on the wall and it's a saddle pad well, holder. Well, it could if we went one, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's only that's only 16. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that that's good. That's 32 if we but put four. But I put in one cell pad, one cell pad, one cell pad, one cell pad. I don't think that's how it's meant to be used though, with four on each one. So essentially, the barn is getting messier as the weather gets browner. But we just gotta be patient. A little bit longer, it'll be dry. So where are we gonna hang these suckers? These are all the saddle pads. They have to be hung up. That wall is Where's now designated rack? saddles. Right over there. Does work? Uh, what about that wall? Um, so, uh, you know, when you're bored at home or when your kids are on their electronics for too long and you're like, listen, you need to stop that. Come down to the barn. Let's go. You guys have to get down in the barn and take care of your horses. And then, whoosh, my kids are having fun and not sitting online. You guys getting click groomed? She's showing you the butt, Gabby. No, because I had it like this, so that if she turned away, I could tug it and she won't. That's the perfect weight for Stella. That's the perfect weight. That's the weight I want to maintain. Are you grooming her? Giving her a groom? See, Stella, like, look at Stella. She's such a nice pony, you don't even have to tack her, you don't even have to cross tie her. She just stands there while you brush her. And then Willow is not that in love with it. I don't know, she's being pretty good. Oh, she just makes me happy how beautiful she looks. So I was thinking about how if Sophie gets a pony, Gabby has Storm, we all have Willow, and then Laura gets her. Well, for any of you guys who think that I'm too scared to ride Stella again, I'm not. I'm just too scared to canter her again. Best pony ever. Like, the day God gave us her, He was trying to tell us something.
It might not look like much, you guys, but remember, this little girl did not know how to lunge at all. She did not know how to, she did not know how to lunge at all. When she does something good and you would normally give her a treat, when she looks after you and starts walking towards you, do not, just pet her instead. Yeah, so sometimes she gets a treat. Always, that's right. be like normal. Not begging for treat. Yeah, so sometimes she gets a treat and sometimes she doesn't and she can't beg for it and that's what helps her not beg for it. Um, I'm also using this because she's more responsive. She's more responsive to that little whip. Yeah. See? She wants a treat now. You go out, please. There we go. Yes. There we go. And she loves to stop at the scent. No? So in order to work with Willow, we have to do something with Stella. Sometimes we put her in her stall with a little bit of hay, but today we ba banished her to outside. Hi, right, Stella. So she's just eating the last of the hay that's out there from lunch. So Sophie and I want to go for a walk with the ponies. Oh Stella wants to go too, if you can tell. She's standing here. She's like, take me for a walk. But I just looked across the field and it's pure mud. So if we go, we're gonna like wreck all the all the ground. This is the season where you can't walk anywhere because you just rip up the field, rip up the grass. Wait. Orange, light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark, dark blue. Okay, so that's it. You guys, that's it. 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 Today was a messed up day. We had to go and pick up our couch this morning, so chores did not get done until late. And I noticed that Gabby's chores are still sitting there, but she did a good job in Stella's stall. Right, we are getting more stuff done. Like, today's the day that things are getting done. I have more stuff to do tomorrow. So, how many did you get? I love it. Six at least. We only have 17 things. <laughs> I just didn't know how many I could put on one. You can put yeah. the pitchforks up here, and then, right, and then these. The yeah, the brooms. Can, here. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Sassy. I figured out how to take apart the couch by myself. Which yeah. Is all I do and nobody helps me. Yeah, basically, as long as I have Gabby, I will always be okay. You can until never... I get, until I get mad at something. You can never leave me. Gabby is... Gabby is Sam. She can figure everything out and she likes to do it. I, yeah. Sophie and I have no patience for that crap. Hey, hold on, guys. No, we like it better the other way anyway. Gabby will always stay with mom. Yeah. Gabby will be the one who leaves mom. Yeah, that's true too. Sophie, you better get smarter and start learning how to do stuff if you're going to stay with me. Well, I'm never moving until <laughs> I have a husband and kids. Good. I'm, I'm good with that. I'll do that. Can you uh, shake on it? Right, you guys heard it here. Oh, plus, um, I'm hook picking my shoe because all the dirt. I know the mud. Is horrible. I need to fix the arena where we freeze. Oh. <laughs> where we freeze. Look at you guys. We have like a natural indoor riding ring. See the ring? Everything else is soaked, and that's our riding. That's our our lunging. Yeah, so we can see we still need more. Yeah, all that is gray, but it's wet. The problem is now that it's like, this is what we're dealing with. Now that it's soft and we can we can move it around, it's not frozen. The ground is all a mess, so we can't bring any trucks in. This craziness, you guys. Pure crazy. Let that be a lesson to you. Never, ever move in winter. Never, ever, ever move in winter. I know, I'm proud of us that we got this much in, though. Wow, that's pretty good. We have three pooper scoopers now. Um, so now what we need to do is find a spot for all this stuff. Our storage, this is our storage stall, but we need this one day. One day for a pony, right? Uh-huh, and it might be the Palomino pony. Yeah, we have not decided yet. It is going to be the Palomino. We got something new today, but it was not a pony, huh? What was it? A couch. You'd rather have a pony? Uh-huh. Palomino pony. Come on. What? Come on then. Come my arm. You said we walked in there. No, we can't because it's too muddy. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's pure mush. 
Oh, it's gorgeous. It's no, it's glorious out here. Don't rip up the dirt. It's hot. It's not hot, but can you guys hear the birds singing? Canadian birds are tough. Mom, look at those guys. Hello. Wow, look at these are our birds. These are our bird friends. Doesn't take much sun to make things dry. Another couple of days, a week of sun, and we'd be good to go. So this could potentially be the door of our new paddock. I, I love this area for a paddock. Gabby wants this for a jump. Wow, that's kind of narrow though. Skinny jump. Now animals could live in here <laughs> like this. It's nice. I think we should use it for a table in the barn. We have all these poles. Actually, there's better ones over there that are really good for fencing. I like this. Climb like on the we poles, could make a whole you. fence. We could I dare fence you to climb on the poles. I dare you to climb on the poles. They're not that sturdy. You guys, I helped move a bunch of heavy stuff today and guess how much pain I had. None. I had no pain. <laughs> oh. I love that. Nice like, this. like how does it look so good after a whole winter where it was covered in snow? Imagine though, ima whoa. Imagine I <laughs> fell through the ice. Whoa. But imagine our horse is all hanging out back here. The storm would hang out there. Yeah, he would. Problem is there's grass back here. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm trapped. So this would be it. This would be the door out of the paddock. Ooh. I like this one better than, than the hill. I love it. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.